Hello, my name is Austin Milby, and this is my mock job interview for the capstone business class. I'm using the audio off the camera, so it's probably going to be hard to hear me. I don't have a proper mic set up. I'm doing this interview over for a wrong hand, national support technician job at the post office, which is the next step up from where I'm at. It's a level 11, and I'm a level 10 now. If I was actually doing this interview for the post office, I would not be allowed to give any type of resume or certifications or documents from graduating from any place or anything like that to the interviewers. I wouldn't be able to, allowed to tell them about it either. They would ask four or five questions like the examples below and you would have to guide them to ask what you want to tell them about. So when you tell them about a time you were safe, you would have to tell them in a class I had, we did this to be safe, locking out machinery, and then that would allow them to ask you questions about what type of classes you did and if you graduated with degrees. But otherwise, they wouldn't know because there's a weird set of rules over the interviewing. And you'd be interviewed by two managers in that area and a human resources person. Uh, this is actually a photo of where you set to do your interview at work. So I guess I'll get into trying to actually interview. Uh, hello, my name is Austin Milby, and I'm pursuing a chance at getting this job. I think I would be a good match for this job because of the training I have had both in college and on the job here and through work training. Uh, here is my resume. While being on this job, I've had a chance to uh, talk over the phone with other technicians and guide them through problems, which would directly relate to the job of being a uh, national support technician and talking people through their problems through email and on the phone. My classes at uh, Elizabethtown involved many uh, different technical skills that would be applicable to the job, including uh, PLC troubleshooting, writing PLC programs, basic electronic, uh, tr electronics, basic programming, along with some other skills like CAD that you kind of go into at the beginning. My job, or my job has allowed me a lot of opportunities to work on many machines that other people may not have had a chance to work on, including some machines that we don't yet have classes for, like the universal sorter system. I have so far worked on all the machines in our building and can do basic troubleshooting to advanced troubleshooting on all of them. While attending Campbell University, we're trying to work on a business degree. I've had classes that have helped me develop my skills with Microsoft Office, including Excel, PowerPoint, Word, and some access, and this would be good for you because it would make it where I could perform reports on the breakdowns and on the problems solved and contribute to the database. <clears throat> I'm willing to move to any location in the eastern or midwest area for this position and I understand that there is traveling with it and thank you for this opportunity to interview and that is all and that is my interview and that was painful and I can't see anything from these lights on.